Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video session, I will show you how you will display the output in tabular format in C++. Let's start the session. This is my header file, iostream, and this is windows.h, another header file. This header file is used to control the position of the cursor in output screen. I have used, I have declared one go to xy function. By using this go to xy function, I will control the position of the cursor. Okay, right now I didn't write anything. If I will run this program, it will show me only empty output. This is empty output, nothing is there. Now I want to start the program. I have declared this variable, character name, that is length is 20, f name, length is 20, integer roll number, roll, and CS that will contain the marks of computer science, English, mathematics, chemistry, and total. And after this, I need to get the average marks. Okay, float average. These are my variable declaration. Here I have written enter your roll number, and roll number will store into variable roll. Then enter your name, and name will store into variable name. Enter your father name and uh, string is f name enter the marks of computer science this will store into variable cs enter the marks of english this will store into variables eng and enter the marks of mathematics it will store into variable math enter the marks of the chemistry and it will store into the variable chemistry okay right now i have written a program that will get the input only four subject and three personal information when i will run this program what will be the output compile and run it enter your roll number suppose my roll number is 10 enter your name ali enter your father name name is ahmed enter the computer science marks 45 67 88 76 okay this is my output only right now they are getting only variable input okay personal three personal information and fourth relevant to the subject input here i have written a comment means it will this line will not be executed and this is uh, help to the students or help to the programmer about the program what is written what is going on okay now i'm going to add or total marks of each subject there are four subjects cs english math and chemistry after this i will get the average average equal to total divided by four and average is a float okay next one is after this i want to display the output system cls it will clear the screen what uh, what is on the screen that have that will clear by using this statement that is cls go to xy I have used go to xy first value is the column second value is the row that i have used to control the screen cursor position okay 15 means column it will go to 15 column and fourth is the row see out roll number it will display roll number there after this by using the same column but row will be changed row if row means next row it will show the roll number okay here it will display as it is and here it will show the value of the role these having the in same row go to xy roll number 15 4 and then this value 45 next it will go to 45 4 is the name okay that place they will display the name next it will go to the next row and it display the value is in the name next it will go to the 75 Call number 75, row number 4, and it will display the F name. And then same by using the same column, but row is different. Here row is 4, here, here row is 5. Row number 5, and it will display the F name. Okay, father name. This is row number 5th. This is 5th row. This is row number 6. In row number 6, it will display the line. Okay, in display the line. On row number 7, or row number seven it will display the subjects row number seven by using the same row 
but column is 45 it display the marks using the same row but column is 75 it will display the percentage and after this it display this line okay i want to show the output i want to execute this program enter your row number row number is 10 name is ali ahmed computer science marks 23 65 98 47 it will clear this screen and it will display me this roll number 10 name ali father name ahmed then it will display this line subjects marks percentage and it will display another line okay next line i want to display the marks of computer science okay what i will do this line this line it display on row number 9 okay now i have given the space space that is line number 10 and i went i went to line number 11 this is 15 go to x5 15 is the column and 11th is the row see out computer science it will show this output computer science on 45 column number 45 it will display some uh, cs and line number uh, line number 11 using the same line call number is 75 it will display the cs they are using the same same line 11 row number 11 line number 11 row is 11 and column are different 15 how i set the column 15 then 30 45 then 30 75 it will display me computer science marks same way in the next row in the next row i have display the english marks okay how i display the english marks this is this was in on row number 11 and this is row number 12 row number 12 12 12 call number is 15 45 75 what I have display? I have display the text English, then English marks, then English marks with percentage. After this, I display the mathematics marks by using the row number 13. Column is the same, 15, 45, 75. And next, I have display the chemistry marks, 15, 45, 75, row number 14. This, it will display this text chemistry, marks of the chemistry, marks of the chemistry with percentage okay i want to show the output row number is 12 name is ali father name is ahmed computer science mark 54 69 89 67 and you can see row number 12 name is ali father name is ahmed subject marks percentage computer science 54 54 percent english 69 69 percent mathematics 89 89 percent chemistry 67 and 67 percent now i want to display the total and average marks by using line number means 15 10th column 15th row they will display this line okay and then after this they will display the total marks on which line which row number 16 or all, all the output on or uh, row number 16 what they will display first it will display the output total then it will display the value of the total then it will display me the average okay and after this it will go to the line number 22 means row number 22 and call number 10 i want to run this output semicolon is missing row number 10 name ali ahmed computer science marks mathematics marks chemistry marks and they are displaying me roll number 10 name ali father name ahmed subject computer science marks marks percentage computer science marks 87 87 percent english marks 69 69 percent mathematics marks 87 87 percent chemistry marks 68 68 percent total marks is 311 and 77 percentage okay if you like my video please subscribe my channel thank you jazakallah khair okay this is the code you can see code i will show you one by one okay this is chemistry marks mathematics marks english marks computer science marks then display the roll number name father name then these are the inputs that are required these are the variable declaration 
and this is the extra function that is go to xy the purpose of go to xy is to control the computer screen thank you jazakallah khair